they say we dead men walking because we sleeping and we walking at the same time. Wait. I'm not knowing is the time. That now is my time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So, sir, our salvation is nearer than we believe. A lot of people don't believe the Messiah is coming back at this time. That's why they buy and they sell it. Now give me Luke 17 and 24. Just like in the days of Noah. I mean, before the flood came, everybody was buying, selling, partying, doing all types of madness. Then the flood came. The Messiah said he's going to come as a thief in the night. So it's time for us to repent. Wait. Luke 17, verse 24. Uh, as the lightning, that lightning, verse Luke chapter 17. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Just like in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the sons of man. Because the most I could come tomorrow, look at our people, we're not ready for them to come back. We still buying and selling on the most High's holy day, which is the Shabbat. We still this we still not obeying the law and statutes and commandments which he set up for us on this day. I read that from the top. Luke chapter 17 verse 26 And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the days that Noah entered into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. So they did marry, they did eat and drink, they were given in marriage until the day when Noah entered into the ark and they were all destroyed. So let's not be destroyed like how the people were in the days of Noah. Let's come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Let's come back to who we are as Israelites. Let's come back to the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. And let's quote, and let's give them one of the laws, statutes, and commandments. Give me Leviticus 23 and 3. Because right now is the day, is the Most High's holy day. It's a day of convocation. A day, sir, is a day of convocation. A day where you're not supposed to lie yeah, you yourself. It's a day supposed to be totally devoted to the Most High. But we were polluted. We were told that the Sabbath day is Sunday. And the Sabbath day is from Saturday, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. But the so-called white man, which is true biblical identity, is Esau. But well, he's called an Edomite according to the Bible. Tricked us with the Roman Catholic Church so called. Catholicism and change the Sabbath day from Saturday to Sunday. Leviticus 23 and verse 3. Leviticus 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation, even these are my feet. Six days shall not be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So he said, six days shall work be done. So you got six days to do whatever you want to do. But the seventh day is the Sabbath. And that is a day of rest. But not to go home and sleep, but to worship the Most High. Rest from your work. Rest from doing your own thing. Come back to the Most High. Read. And holy convocation. And it's a day of holy convocation, meaning a day of holy gathering. Read. You shall do no work there. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. Meaning, no matter where you are in the four corners of the earth, you should be following the Sabbath day. Sister, how you doing today? You know that you're an Israelite? Huh, sister? Do you, do you know you're an Israelite? Give me up Deuteronomy 28, verse 54. Because at one time, you were an Israelite warrior. You were so delicate, your feet wouldn't even touch the floor. Now look at what, what the so-called white man did to you. You walk on the floor all day long. But the most I set up when you were a delicate and precious woman. There was no other woman on this earth like you. But because we didn't follow the laws, statutes, and commandments we in this state. So hold that. Give me the, um, Ezekiel 39, 23. But hold on, hold on to 
a white man has to civilize us because we in Africa swinging on our minds like Tarzan. But we went into slavery because we didn't follow the law, statute, and commandments that were given to us by the Most High. 39 and 23. 39 and 23. Because we didn't follow the law, statute, and commandments that were given us to us by the Most High. Read. 23. Ezekiel 39, 39, and verse 23. And the heathen shall know the impulse of Israel. So the heathen, which are the other nations, which are not Israelites, they shall know what? And the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. So the house of Israel went into captivity because of their iniquity. Iniquity is sin. So we went into captivity because we had the, the prophets, the Messiah came to us. And because we don't follow these laws, statutes, and commandments, we went into captivity. That's why we in the condition we in. That's why we the first fire, last fire. That's why we have to go work for the so-called white man, be a servant. He's supposed to be serving us. But now we serving him is backwards. Because, oh, I'll read that again. And the heathen shall know that the bones of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. Because they just walk against me, therefore did I my face from them. And gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. So he said, because we trespass against us, him, he hid his face from us. And he gave us into the hands of our enemies. That's why we're in the present condition that we're in. Because we don't call the Lord's statutes and commandments. We need to come back to the Bible. But give me that scripture you saw. Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Because I want to show the sister that she was a tender and delicate sister. She not her feet, not even supposed to be touching the ground. That's how precious she was. But because we don't follow the Lord's statutes and commandments, our men and women touch the floor all day long. Read. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 54. Souls of the man's of his tender. Verse 50 and 6. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure, accept the sole of her foot upon the ground. So it says the tender and delicate woman which is among you, which wouldn't even adventure to step up a foot on the ground. What is going to happen to her in this prophecy? Read. For for the, del the delicate, the delicate end of the of the tenderness, delicateness, the delicateness of the tenderness, and tenderness, and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil towards the husband. So her eyes, so because you have followed the statute of commandment, because you are so delicate, you don't want to touch the floor. Now, because you have followed the commandment, you she going she gonna do what? <laughs> shall be evil towards the husband and upper and her bosom and towards her son and towards her daughter. So she's going to be evil towards her son and daughter and towards her husband. And that's why we see the woman they in the present condition that they are in now. Because they don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments. We see our power now. Chapter verse 54. This is why we under the curses. Because we have followed the law, statutes, and commandments. Yeah, but before we go 54, go to Deuteronomy 1 and 1. I mean, Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Because we got to explain this to y'all while we in this condition. We got to explain what happened to Read. And it shall come to pass, as in Judah 28 and verse 1, And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, to observe unto thee all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee and I above all nations of the earth. So if we do what cause the man is doing that brother, he said the most God will send us on high above all nations of the earth. So obviously we have all these statutes and commandments. Now give me verse 13. Do to number 28 and verse 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And verse 15. What if but it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to go forth to do all his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, 
But all these earth shall come over thee. Back over thee. So because we have followed the Lord's statutes and commandments, all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. And it's not a coincidence that brothers in Florida is killing each other. It's not a coincidence that it's black on black crime on the four corners of the earth where we live at. Whether it be North America, South America, Central America, the West Indian Islands, Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana, no matter where you are, our brothers just kill each other because it's in the Bible. It's in one of the curses. Give me verse 54. 228 and verse 50 and 4. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. And his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. At one time you were tender and delicate. You have love towards your brother. But now because we have followed the law, statute, commandments, the curse that's upon us, our eyes will be evil towards our brother. And that's why we are, it's no coincidence. That's one of the prophecies that prove that we are the true. Because it's, it's not a coincidence that the so-called blacks in North, Central, and South America are killing their brothers in the islands, whether it be Jamaica, Trinidad, Guyana, um, Barbados, Tobago, Antigua. All these islands be killing each other because we under these curses which the most are put on us. And towards the wife of his bosom, and that and he'll be evil towards the wife of his bosom. That's why a lot of brothers are here. They grow up with a father that he's like a rolling stone. Wherever he lay in his hat is his home. Because a lot of brothers grow up where their father is not around because their father's eyes will be evil towards the child of his bosom. And that's in the scriptures. We need to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments. We gotta wake up, Israel, because the time is now. It's time to repent and come back. Today is the most high Sabbath. I know y'all out here. Actually, give me uh, Proverbs 121. Because a lot of people think, you know what, though, if I was out here, um, you know, giving out free Mavado CDs or selling shoes or just giving away a lot of stuff, you know, we have a problem about it. But because I'm telling you the truth, bringing you back to your nationality, nobody want to hear. Great. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 21. Quiet is in the chief place of concord. Wisdom. So, so all the ways, wisdom quiet without. So wisdom is quiet without. Wisdom is out here trying to tell you that you are the Lord's Jews of the Bible, that you're not uh, Rastafarian, you're not. Muslim, you're not um, Christian, you're not um, Benge Rasta or whatever nonsense you might be into. That you are the real Jews of the Bible. That we shouldn't follow behind these hand mic custom. Celestia is not a descendant of the Most High. He's not a descendant of, of Solomon. Celestia, Manilac, whoever you want to quote. He didn't come from the sea, the royal line of Solomon. We can prove that through the scriptures in 1 Kings 10. But keep on reading. She uttereth her voice in the street. She cried in the chief place of Concord. So right now the wisdom is crying in the chief place of Concord, where y'all coming and going, walking by. Read on. In the opening of the, of the gates, in the city she uttereth her words, saying, how oh, long is simple one? We love the ill of simplicity. Simplicity. How long is simple one? Will he love simplicity? How long are you going to love seven day of minutes of Rastafarianism? You know, being a Christian. How long are you going to love these things? How long are you going to love simplicity? Sister, don't be scared to be on the camera. We're here for you. Because a lot of people think we have to be the first one to hear from our people. Give me our Isaiah 50, you know, I think it's a thing. And the sun is the light and the sun is the light. 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 And the
and fools take knowledge. And some brothers give you knowledge out of the scriptures. Only a fool is going to spot you. Because knowledge is the only thing that's going to keep you stable in these times. Give me um, Isaiah 33 and 6. Because knowledge is the only thing that's going to keep that, that knowledge is our foundation. Knowledge is what is going to make, uh, help us make it in the kingdom of heaven. Because right now, we in Jamaica, and it's a beautiful place, Jamaica, I gotta admit, it's a beautiful place, but it's hell in Jamaica if you're a so-called black man. If you a white man, it's heaven, because I got all these servants around me. But if, if you're a so-called black man, it's hell in Jamaica. You have all the beautiful flowers on the land, the only person in heaven too is Jamaica, the so-called white man that's over there in rum trees. Nova, Nova. In, in Nova. In, in, you know, in, uh, on, in, in Rum Tree, living luxurious in the villas, in the hotels. But where y'all at? In the ghettos and the slums. And when y'all gonna wake up and repent? Read on. Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of time. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your time. Only wisdom and knowledge can save you in these last days. Wisdom and knowledge are the most high. Your money can't save you. You know what though? Your, your jobs can't save you. Only wisdom and knowledge. All these things are going to fade away. So, to the most God, so it's second coming. We need to come back to God, statutes, and commandments. Read that again. Shall break one of these least commandments. One of the least commandments. Read on. 
all manner of concupiscence, for without the law, sin was dead. Now, uh, give me um, Romans 6 and 14. Romans 6 and verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. So a lot of people say we're not under the law, we're under grace. So I got grace, so I can eat that jerk pork, you know. I got grace, so I can eat that skunk, that pork. So, well, we, so we don't have to follow the law because we got grace. Read on. What? What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law but under grace? So Paul is asking the question. He says, what then? Shall we sin because we not under the law? We under grace? Read on. God forbid. God forbid. You can't sin and make and make the statement, I'm not, I'm going to sin because I'm not under the law no more, I have grace. Read that from the top, verse 15. What then shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace, that was it. No, we that we are not a servant to the Lord, because we are full of we not under the law, we're under grace, but we can sin. Because the most I said, God forbid, meaning hell, hell no. You can't sin and make a statement you're under grace, because you know what's grace? Grace is a grace period. You can't keep on using grace as an excuse. We have to come back to these law statutes and commandments. We got to bring our people back to the knowledge, to the identity of who they are. You know that you're not, that you are not um, Jamaicans. Because Jamaican is a word that is so-called white man made for you. What were you when you came off that slave ship? You came from Israel. Y'all are Israelites. We are the people chosen by God. We are God's chosen people. Yeah, give me that hand. Yeah, All right, really. they cooking that oil just to endorse what the brother is saying about grace here. You just can't just live void and get grace. Um, in Genesis 6 and verse 8 and 9, it said, No, no form grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and a perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with God. All the way we can have grace and favor with God. We have to keep the commandments, which is the righteousness in the keeping of the law. Look at, Rome, um, look at Romans 5 verse 21. To show you in the New Testament also that you just cannot live void and get grace, but it's true righteousness. In to do it a favor. When we have the athletes running in Jamaica, they just can't just stay in the pavilion and get favor and get a get a medal. They have to work hard. They have to train and then they get and, and they have to run fast to get a medal. Read Romans 5 verse 21. That as sin had reigned unto death, even so my grace reigned to righteousness and eternal life by Jesus Christ. When you keep, when you transgress the law, it reigns unto death. It's only leading you to death. But when you keep the commandment, it leads you into life everlasting. Yeah, and um, just to prove to you that the commandment is right, give me Proverbs 6 and 23. Because the commandment is the light in this dark, evil world. The commandments are what are going to keep us out of the damnation which is to come. Because America is that chosen city that's meant to be destroyed. And right now in Jamaica or whatever, and in the four corners of the world, we follow behind this Dawson and the, and the America Anglo-Saxon culture. Read on. Proverbs 6 and verse 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light. And reproof of instruction are the way of life. And the commandment are light, you know, and is a lamp. And reproof of, of instruction are the way of life, which come out of the Bible. Now give me um, Amos 9 and 8. Because um, now right now, America is being prepped for destruction. There's no jobs over there. America is just like Jamaica. There's no jobs over there. A lot of y'all think America is the land of milk and honey. America is paved, paved the road with gold. Let me let y'all know something. America is going to be destroyed. 
So get out of the American doctrine, the American philosophy, come back to the most high law, statutes, the commandments which are found in the Bible. Read. Amos 9 and verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from all the face of the earth. So the most high said, the eyes of the most high are upon that sinful kingdom, which is America, which is past all these gay rights. They, they give the right for a man and a woman to, to the man. That's not a holy union now. Right now, holy union in America is for a man to marry a man, a woman to marry a woman. That's against the most high's law, statutes, commandments. A man is not supposed to be with a man. He's supposed to be with a woman. Read on. And that's why America is going to be destroyed. A lot of y'all think America, a lot of y'all over here going to go get y'all green card, going to the U.S. Consulate, the U.S. Embassy to go get y'all green card, get your papers, you could go over there. But America is going to be destroyed. Y'all need to go, go get your papers to come back to this Bible. Go get your papers to become an Israelite. Because this kingdom, which is wicked, is America. America is going to be destroyed. Read. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. So he will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, which is in America. We need to come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, because that's the only thing that's going to save us in these last days. Give me uh, Revelation 18 and 4. So the most high told us, repent and depart, come out of God. And come out of God means her philosophy, her doctrine, about Christmas, Easter, New Year. Come out of the philosophy. Come out of the, the pagan ways of America. Read on. Revelation 18 and verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins. So come out of her, my people, which is America, which is the European system, which is the Anglo Saxon American system. Read on. And that ye receive not of her plague. Because the plagues that's coming to America is fire, death, and destruction. So if you don't want to be a part of those plagues, you need to come out of those philosophies because America is being tough for destruction. Right now there's no jobs in America. New Jersey passed a bill to, for gay rights. The next day, Hurricane Sandy came. That's a sign from the most high. California passed a right, right for gay rights. The next day, Wildfires being destroyed. America is being cut for destruction. Oklahoma has the right for gay rights. You know what happened, sir? Tornado came, killed 100 and something, 134, 140 people. Just letting you know the most high is a man of war and he's coming back with his fire and his plague to judge America. And give me a uh, Matthew 10 and Judge Paul. A lot of people think. The most high, Mashiach Yahweh died, the one y'all call Jesus Christ, through ignorance because there's no J in the Hebrew alphabet, that he's coming back with cotton candy. He's coming back to give our free jerk chicken. He's coming back to give you kings and sorters and all, and all good. He's coming back to give smiles and hugs and kisses. Most high is not coming back for that. We, we wait and tell him what he's coming back to do. Matthew 10 verse 34. Think not that... I am come to send peace on earth. So this is the Messiah speaking. He says, don't think I'm coming to set peace on earth. Don't think I'm coming to make everything at peace. Because what is he coming to do, Ray? I came not to send peace, but a sword. He said he came not to set peace, but a sword. Now what do you do with a sword? Do you butter bread with a sword? You cut cheese with it? No, you kill. You destroy. You plunder. Read. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and the daughter against her mother. So the, so the Messiah is coming, so the time he's coming, once you come back to his word, you start saying, I don't want to celebrate Christmas no more. You're going to go against your mother. You know, a father going to go against his um, son, son against father, because we're coming back to these laws, statutes, and commandments, which the most are put out there. We now give me Isaiah 66 and 15. Because a lot of people think that when the most are coming back, oh, it's going to be a good day. That's, you know, it's going to be a good day. That day is going to be hell for the heathen and for the Israelites that don't want to listen and come back to the Bible. Read. But the Lord will come with fire and with his chariot like a whirlwind. The Lord said he's going to come with fire and with his chariot like a whirlwind. And what are those chariots going to do? They're going to destroy. They're going to kill. 
So let us not, you know, so let us get out of this system. And now is the time to repent, brother. Now is the time to pick up the law, statutes, and commandments. Put on your righteous armor, your breastplate, and follow after the Most High. Because the time is near. I'll read that again. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. And to, to render his, his, his anger and his rebuke with flames of fire. Um, Re Revelation 11 and 8. Because that day is going to be a dreadful day. That day when you read the Revelation is going to be a day like no other. Read. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. And their, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of the great city. And that their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of that great city. That great city is America, which made all of y'all are the fornication. That great city, which is America. That great city, which is the one that, that um, you know what, that great city, we still out here, don't need to run. That great city is America, that can't pass for destruction. That great city is America, that's going to be destroyed. It says there's no body that lies in the great city. See what he's going to do now? Amen, Lord, it's great. Read on. Read the streets of Israel, Adam, and Egypt. So America is first to be called Sodom and Egypt. But read up to the top. Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great of that great city. Rich spiritual is called Sodom and Egypt. Which, also, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. America is called Egypt because that's the place that the Israelites did their captivity. And it's called Sodom because right now there's a lot of homosexuality going in America. In America right now, you walk down the street, all you see is Bati man and Bati woman. I'm serious, I was there two days ago, that's all you see is Bati man and Bati woman. And that's why it's called Sodom and Gomorrah. Give me the law on, on, on homosexuality. Leviticus 20 and 13. Because it's not good for a man to be with a man or a woman to be with a woman. That's that's against the laws of the Most High. You're not supposed to accept homosexuality. You're supposed to tell them to repent, change, come back to the law, statutes, and commandments which are written in the Bible. And now get out now, now give me that scripture that speaks out against homosexuality. Leviticus 20 and 13. Read. Leviticus 20 and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. So both of them have committed an abomination. The man given and also the man receiving has committed an abomination. Read on. They shall surely be put to death. So they shall surely, the homosexuals, wherever they are in the four corners of the earth, they shall surely be put to death. Read. Their blood shall be upon them. Your blood shall be upon them. If your homosexual needs to repent and start being wicked. Now give me uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. A lot of homosexuals think because that debt then come to them, they still won't be wicked. They still won't be proud to be homosexual. They still won't keep on doing their wicked ways. But listen to what the Most High said. The Most High speaks about that. He speaks about the people that in these last days that, that, that they think they get away with being wicked. Read on. Because Leviticus the because 8 and verse 11 Because sentence against an evil work is not executed immediately Because sentence, because the police don't come and throw homosexuals in jail when they be evil Because they don't come and immediately read Therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil Because that therefore the heart of the sons of men are fully set to do evil Fully set to do wickedness, read Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged. So yet do a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, and his days be lengthened, right? Yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that, that fear God. So surely the, the most high children know is well with them that fear God and keep his commandments. And with that, I say shalom to Israel, and we'll bring out the next brother that's going to further edify you in the knowledge, teachings of the Most High Amen.